let's address their nonsensical Catholic, Protestant, Calvinist, First Reich, Holy Roman Empire perspective of those who are trying to do things in a way that is compatible for Western imperialism, white supremacy, cultural imperialism, and other distasteful, non-spiritual forms uh, of thought. On unconditional election, only Pharaoh has unconditional election in any given group. He is the descendant of the top martial artist of all of humanity, and he is his true son as chosen through martial arts, the only valid selection process, light contact sparring. That light contact that contacts the light in God and the ancestors. Why should he sin if he is truly chosen? What reason does he have to sin? If he wants, he can have every woman on the planet, if that is God's will. And of course, he cultivates the spirit of righteousness. That is the main thing that he is proud of. He has true pride. Therefore, he wouldn't do that. He has no reason to sin. What reason does he have to sin? If he desires a woman so much, he can take on another wife. That is his right, his divine right. If he feels love for a woman, then he can take that woman. What reason does he have to sin? Sexual immorality? Well, tell those harlots to dress in a way that is respectable so he doesn't lust. That is an example of them ca causing them sin. If you go as far as to tempt the top martial artist to feel lust, you should be raped and killed. How dare you try to lead all of humanity astray by causing the Pharaoh to be unfocused. Everything you do should re reflect the conveyance of that divine love that it is his job to convey and not lust and, and immorality and adultery and so on. Adultery that applies to anyone but Pharaoh. Yes, if he truly feels love, there is no covenant of this world that can come between him and a woman. She has no right to refuse him, even if she's married with 10 kids. God is the covenant. Pharaoh is the ark of the covenant. Ark backwards, see Ra. He who sees the father sees the son and vice versa. Pharaoh's word is the word of God. And even if he is wrong, it is because you caused him to fall astray. Therefore, Ra can protect his son from all attempts of his en by his enemies. But it is also the people's duty to love and respect him, or the world order would necessarily collapse. Even in their own Western books, that is written. There's no, there's no plausible counter-argument. Anyway, he's chosen by the God and the people cause him to sin. Their duty is to follow him and, and nurture his good spirit, not test or allow him to be harmed. The order is all God wants from man to follow Pharaoh with all of his heart. So notice, only Pharaoh has unconditional election, which means he's selected by God to go to heaven no matter what he does. His nature is consistent with God's plan. And it is your job to nurture him if you don't want to suffer from his sins, no matter what, he's going to heaven. Don't cause him to fall. It is not your place to test him or to design a test for him. You are to follow him and do as he says and come around him in a respectable manner. And if he falls in love with a woman, she must submit. This is not up for debate and you will suffer for not doing that. The order is all God wants from man to follow Pharaoh with all of his heart, to love thy Lord, thy God, with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul. How do you do it? Pharaoh is the way. What is the truth of how to do it? Pharaoh is the truth. How do you receive eternal life? Through Pharaoh, the son of righteousness, Sunday. Haru as the only begotten son of Ra. Hold nothing back from him. Man is too clever by half, as they, as they say, trying to cheat uh, as they so trying to cheat Pharaoh out of his cult and out of his call, rather. I am not a Christian. They blindly follow sex, ideal and truth in ideas and then the higher logic-based moral direction. Christianity is by the bull. The only true interpretation of it can be through the Pharaoh, the hawk. 
The hawk is the only one who can truly explain to you why, uh, what, what truth there is in the Bible and how these lessons point to what he's saying. Other than that, it is nonsense. I do not follow Christ or anyone else. Man follows me. And I serve God. Muslim and Christians took slaves to take on the body using women. Okay, to take on the body of the sun temple, right? The light shines on them. What happens? Some must now see their mistake. Also, it's not enough to be black, obviously. You know, Indians can make the same argument, right? They're dark skinned. Some are darker than I am. But it is who expresses the co combination of things and the martial arts coordination in terms of sparring and not stretching, which is more of a female thing. You know, Asia is Afro-Asiatic. First, it is the black African. He is first. He is the man. And the woman that submits is the Asiatic woman. Anybody, uh, you know, anybody who wants a wife must be paired through Pharaoh's system, not necessarily by him directly, but through his system. Mages playing God, Pharaoh, uh, and democratizing uh, the Pharaoh's power. Do not go to heaven, neither do their followers. Think for fuck's sake versus focus in the spirit of pure righteous indignation's sake. Satanists, the worst criminals, the LGBT community, the feminists, the atheists, and the racists have betrayed me the most by covering up the light the most. Corpus, body, corpse, marine corps, corpus, corporation. Remember when I've gone over this? And the reason why I'm holding this knife goes back to the video before this. is to differentiate between this video and the video before this. And it also shows you that this is the most accurate way to kind of represent the claws of a leopard and the beak of a hawk or its talons. Okay, for range combat, you use the spear. The spirit is also in the spear. But first and foremost, it is in the knife. Okay, knife, no foe. You know your foe. You know the person you are going against. It is closer to natural combat. Uh, excuse me, it is closer to uh, unarmed combat. And the reason why this is important has to do with conveying the spirit. But you convey the spirit to kill, not use brute force, which is what you'll be using with the hands and the, uh, you know, the, the edge of the hands. It's called the knife edge, right? The knife edge of the hands, the karate chop, right? No matter how you slice it, the hook punch, they all refer to chopping somebody. But the more you extend out of your body, the more the, the, it's lost in material. Okay, so it has to be the emphasis on killing and transferable skills for actual combat, but the most significant knife becomes, the weapon becomes a knife, and there's also flint knives buried with the pharaoh. Uh, and I don't think that the spear was even a significant weapon uh, in, that, uh, in that regard. It's also a way for people who are un uncoordinated to attempt to find a way to cheat people who are coordinated. And I'll leave it, you know, I'm running out of time, I'll leave that to you to figure out. We look at the rape rate in South Africa due to the Western uh, uh, imperialization, uh, Western agenda, and their allies' undermining of the martial arts order. Right, Zulus used to be have their reproduction controlled by Shaka, and he would impale rapists. So when you undermine the martial arts order, the rape rate goes through the roof, and the West blames black people for it. They oversimplify what's going on. They avoid my arguments, my key points. They oversimplify what's going on. They overgeneralize. They create straw men. Their own schools teach that these are the techniques that they use, as they teach the five forms of Power, knowledge, reverent, coercive, coercive, right? Coerce someone out of their pussy, out of their money, so on. Uh, um, knowledge, reverent, coercive, expert, and legitimate. Okay, moving on. Barber, bear, boar, right? Eastern Star, the biggest faction. The, the on, on the Western explanation of the Narmer palette, you had two leopards, right? They said it claims, they claim that it represents the Eastern and the Western heavens. If you look at the Middle East, one can look at it in terms of the Eastern Star refers to East Asia. Uh, and one refers to, you can look at it as the West refers to Africa. One can look at it more in terms of the West being the land of the dead. You know, the Westerners were said to be dead. Okay. Uh, bottom line is, this is their explanation and it connects to the Eastern Star. And I really don't care about the details. You know, their details are the details of liars. You're an idiot if you spend the t your time cultivating and learning their knowledge instead of the true life, which is in the spirit I convey. The spirit, the, you know, the martial arts spirit to spirit, right? The life, okay, figure it out. Legacy, right? Leg A, C. 
circumstances, right? It goes back to sir and survivor, right? Serve, survivor. Sir, come stances. Sir, here comes the stances. What stance do you have? You have a demonic stance and you're not going to give me my rightful place. And that especially goes for women. And trust me, women are acting like straight harlot demons. There's no doubt in my mind about that. There hasn't been a single one, attractive or otherwise, that truly submitted to the divine order. Nor has there been a single attractive woman that presented herself in a way that is honorable to me. All right, so, uh, and obviously it is insane to think that I'm wrong. I'm this brilliant, handsome, tall guy, you know. For a while there, I was pretty financially stable, okay? Uh, from a good family, okay? Athletic, and so on and so forth. Beautiful soul, so on and so forth, right? Even if they didn't agree with my philosophy, why didn't they date me? You have to truly understand eugenics and what's going on and how they control reproduction. It's stupid to think they don't. You know, these guys put a special emphasis on control and reproduction. You think they, when they stopped officially colonizing, that these neo-colonialists stopped controlling reproduction? They stopped noticing the Pocahontases of the world? You know, the Jasmines? I mean, you'd have to be very, very stupid to think that people that rape millions of people in war don't notice the more attractive women and reserve them for people with higher social status. It is stupid, stupid, and unbearably wicked to think that is uh, uh, not the case. It is despicable to think that's not the case. And it is despicable that women roll with it. I have no respect for them. They have no right to claim spiritual power. Nobody does but me. Anyway, we talk about weighing heavy on the heart versus being lighthearted and balancing the heart with the feather. Um... So, when I am out of shape and I eat a lot, etc., uh, I feel thrown off. It disrupts the vibration of the heart and the breathing. Um, the desires to lash out are connected to the heart. Uh, think about protests and they're lashing out, but they're lashing out this kind of gender neutral, lukewarm spirit. Um, there's a distinction that needs to be made between focused uh, with the desire to do God's work and being some kind of selfish bitch. And I go over this time and time again. So when somebody is lashing out as a result of being unfocused, right, it is a kind of fixation on what their unfocused path led them to versus the result of focusing and honing righteous indignation. Hone your able, sensitive as being a human uh, a trait. Perhaps the most important human trait is sensitivity to evil that the martial artist cultivates. Talk about huffing and puffing. You see signs, uh, patterns. Uh, and of course, they're fuming me to create that effect. You know, when someone's huffing and puffing, it seems like they're unbalanced and out of shape and so on. Um, all right, I have a lot to go switch. I'm going to go finish this page. Okay. We look at um, Ak is said to be the person. The one Western explanation is Mayat Karu, uh, at, is what the person was called at the end of the trial. They are true of voice. They were said to be justified, right? This goes back to justice. Being true of voice and telling the truth goes back to justice. Telling the truth about the logical direction of humanity included, which is, which is justice, right? If you have a secular society, you must default with me. If you're religious, you must learn the true message of your story and default me. All paths, all honorable paths lead to me as Pharaoh. There's no other way. Look at a, a, a grandfather, grandfather clock, right? Grand money, right? Grand master, great grandfather, right? It's all connected. Money, moon E, right? Moon temple perspective, the L doors, right? The the door to the L. He has more of a gender neutral spirit versus the young vibrant pharaoh who must choose a successor and, and, and apply martial arts timing in 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 the transition. He doesn't exactly retire with nothing, you know. He retires uh, with beautiful women, if not dies, okay. He has everything he could desire. He just knows what's best for the nation and retires accordingly and allows the transition to come when, the, when God has chosen the successor. It is success, divine success. So, uh, Ka-Ra-Kor, character. Uh, Ka-Ra, excuse me, Ka-Rise-A, charisma. Okay. Reinvent, right? They call people a dick or a nut job. When they behave a certain way, this goes back to mental health, trying to emasculate everybody with their feminist allies, and especially their liberal allies. But the, the right wing has vested interests as they target people like me the most. 